Adventures on the farm, hedgehogs. An autumn tale. It was autumn, and George the farmer had taken his son and daughter Leo and Leah out to the field to show them all the wonderful colors of the leaves at the time of the year. While playing, Leah spotted some brown balls under a tree. What are these? Leah asked she pick one up. There are chestnuts, explained George. They grow on the chestnut trees in the autumn months. And what are those? asked Leah. They look like little green hedgehogs. George laughed. Those are the prickly chestnut shells, he replied. They're called burrs. The chestnuts grow inside them. I think we have chestnuts last autumn, said Leo. Mum roasted them on the fire. That's right, replied George. I'm sure your mother will roast some for you again if you garden them up. But watch out for the prickle shells. Let's flick them all the way home using sticks, said Leo. That will stop our hands getting prickled. So Leo and Leah flicked the chestnuts into the air and started to head home. Race you down the hill, shouted Leah. They ran down the hill at top speed, flicking the chestnuts in front of them. Ouch! cried Leo as prickly chestnut shell flicked up and caught him in the hand. That hurts! I don't think this is the best plan. I've got a better idea, said Leah. Let's crack the shell open. Then we can carry the chestnuts home without hurting ourselves. So they stepped lightly on the shells until each one split and the chestnuts roll out. Mum will be so excited, said Leo. She loves roasted chestnuts. She's not the only one, thought Leah. Those pigs will eat anything and chestnuts, the horse is in name chestnuts for nothing. Oh look, Leah suddenly shouted, a huge brown chestnut shell. How do I miss this one? Wait, whispered Rio, that's not a prickly shell, it's a sleeping hedgehog. But it was too late. Leah had already poked it. Hey, said the hedgehog with a big yawn. It's not polite to poke hedgehogs who are sleeping, you know. Sorry, replied Leah. I thought you were a prickly chestnut shell. A prickly shell? questioned the hedgehog. Not I. I'm prickly, all right. But if an animal of the forest, I wake when it's dark and sleep during the day, usually. Our names are Leah and Leo, the children said. Pleased to meet you and sorry for waking you up. Not to worry, replied the now wide awake hedgehog. It's almost evening time anyway. That's my favorite time. When you are tucked up in bed, the hedgehog continued. I am normally up and about. All on your own, asked Leo. We hedgehogs prefer to be alone, the hedgehog replied. I have a big job ahead of me tonight. When winter comes, we hedgehog hibernate. That means we go to sleep until next spring. Before I hibernate, I need to collect as much as fo- food as I can. As you are here, would you like to help me collect nuts and berries for my winter snacks? The hedgehog asked. We have already collected a lot of chestnuts, said Leah and Leo. We were going to take them home to mom. But we have so many, we can share them with you, if you like. I love chestnuts, replied the hedgehog. So, yes, please. I could make your bed of leaves, said Leo. Or better, still, you could come with us to the farm and we could make you a warm bed in one of the barns. You are very kind, laughed the hedgehog. I'm glad you woke me up now. Leah and Leo took a slow walk back to the farm with the hedgehog. They gave the chestnuts to their mother, who roasted them over the fire. Then the children took the hedgehog to the barn and made him a lovely bed of straw. This is the most comfy bed I have ever slept in, he cried. Also, you have some chestnuts for when you finish hibernating, said Leo. But the friendly hedgehog did not reply. He was already fast asleep. Who am I? Hello, now you read the autumn story, it's time to find more about hedgehogs. We like to live alone and we protect ourselves using the spies on our back. If we get scared, we roll into a ball. Where do I live? 
I live amongst the leaves in hedgerows, woodland, fields and gardens. When it gets very cold in winter, I like to find a nice hidden shelter, like a small cave to curl up in. My eyes. I don't need much. I don't need to use my sight much because I always find my way by sniffing. My nose. I have a long snout and a great sense of smell. My feet. I have a short stubby feet. I use them to dig in the ground. My ears. I have a sensitive hearing and use it to detect if I'm in danger. My tail. It's very hard to see, but I do have a tail. My spines. They are very prickly and about 2-3 centimeters long. What do I eat? Once it's dark, I start to hunt for food. My favorite food is fruit, but I also eat snails, worms and insects. Yummy! Hoglets. Baby hedgehogs are called hoglets. When they are born, their spines are soft, but gradually they get stronger as they grow. Hoglets are very cute and become independent at around six weeks old. The chestnut. Chestnuts are formed inside a prickly shell that splits open when they ripen in the autumn. What color are they? As chestnuts grow, the spiky shell is a green color. When the chestnut's right inside ripens, the shell becomes darker before finally turning brown. Chestnut trees. Chestnut trees are found throughout Britain, but are less common in Scotland. They grow to a height of around 30 meters and flower between June and July. The chestnuts drop to the ground when they ripen in autumn and are favorite snack for squirrels. Roasted chestnuts are really good for you, but make sure as adults slits the shell first. Chestnuts are like popcorn, so if you don't pierce the shell, the nut will burst in a small explosion. Never eat a nut without asking an adult first. Some nuts are dangerous. Different nuts. There are many different types of nuts to find in autumn. Here we take a look at two of the most popular, as well as how chestnuts are used in cooking. Chestnut. Chestnut shells are very spiky. The chestnut inside has one pointed end and is great for roasting and eating. Horse chestnut. Conkers came from horse chestnut trees. These are great for playing autumn games, but definitely not for eating. Chestnuts in food. Chestnuts are eaten roasted, boiled or dried. In the shops, you can buy chestnut spread for sandwiches, chestnut pate for spreading on toast, and chestnut flour, which is great for making cakes.